jumped over a bridge. So. <laughs> No, uh, the question was, I've done a lot of movies with some really great actors, like Forrest Whitaker, Tim Knightley, and, and Angelina Jolie, I think you said? Anybody else? I don't know. And, um, <laughs> and, and what have I learned from them? And, and do I still think I'm learning and taking stuff from the job? Yeah. Um, I do, very much. Uh, I'm really lucky to have got to work with excellent actors, and they've all been fantastic. Forrest in that film just terrified me every day. Um, <laughs> And that's not something that's easy to do. You go, you're an actor, man. I know you're not going to eat my liver. But, <laughs> but you know, he kind of made me feel a little bit at ease all the time. Um, and that's quite impressive, really. Because I'm a grown man and I don't scare too much. Um, uh, and then, uh, I think that when you stop, when you stop learning, I don't know what happens when you stop learning, to be honest with you, but, but I'd be scared if I went to work and I wasn't learning something. Um, because it's the great... It's the great privilege and the great uh, bonus of being a, a regularly employed actor that you get to go to different places in the world and learn stuff. It's not even to do with your job or to do with the film or your craft. It's to do with the place you're in. Even when you just film in London, I get to be in places in London you can dream of. Like to get to film in sewers and film on the roofs of places like the House of Parliament and stuff. I've never been in either of those places, but I imagine it might happen one day. <laughs> And, and that, you know, you get to do crazy stuff that's just brilliant. And um, so, yeah, I'm still learning a lot. 